So look at you guys. Um, in the background, this is from Daffy to Key Piano Worship. I do not own rights to the song, but it's a glory to God that it is the greatest um, timeless hymns of all time. Three hour piano music, peaceful and relaxing and meditation music. I'll put the link down below. God is going to allow us all to just relax. So I do not own rights to this music. This is not sponsored. But I'm just going to let it play. Because I need to just rejoice. God has been putting in my spirit. So it was very mentally relaxed and mentally all over. But I want to give God worship. Because last night I found word that I was supposed to get surgery. And they did not know, well, they was not comfortable finding the item that was located in my arm. And they feel like it's not there, but the Lord said it's there. And I'm feeling pain. And he said to me, I gotta take it out. The point of this video is that it's called caution. It's the word, and God is telling you to be mentally prepared. But then also he's saying to you, be patient. You're not alone, be still. The words that he's allowed me to speak when I was just a little worried, a little all over the place, a hot mess, but I was calm because um, he said to me, freedom, you're all done, you're going to be all right. I was just speaking the words which is coming out of my mouth. So today, I went for some blood drawn and then the, the, the head nurse was saying to me that it's not there, the item's not there. The implant's not there. I said to her, yes, it is. You know, I did this so to protect myself. I did this so I can live a comfortable life. And then I'm causing pain in my arm. And for any women out there who has an explanon, please check it. Make sure it's there. Because um, you always hear those stories, you're one in a hundred, apparently experience was not good but I still have mobility in my arm but I was feeling I feel like yesterday from this time from this from this finger all the way down my arm was numb and it was scary when I say it's not there but I know it's there because the enemy is trying to plug these stress and stress onto my mind that it's not there but I feel it and I feel the pain and the sharp pain and it, it moved in there trying to, they can't locate it. My friend, Dejanae, she was telling me that you need to get it out, you need to keep what God's telling you to do. Shipping and changing, so I had to deal with that for the last two days. God made a way for me to get an ultrasound. They cannot locate it. I, they to more prevention, and they allowed me to get a chest x-ray and, and uh, another arm x-ray the first time they couldn't find it but as i feel it i can feel it in my arm so you guys please pray for me because i'm in i'm at peace so they said today that they're not comfortable going in my arm cutting my arm trying to look for it they can't find it so the next best thing is to get the blood work and they said if they find any hormones in it they know what's in there so i believe in god i believe in what he's telling me you guys check it out so on another matter, I woke up today, one of my staff members, um, the Lord said to me, a friend, she called me and she said, Miss Jalisa, I'm just letting you know, not in case no one else was going to call you and tell you that today was my very, very last day at the job. I said, oh no. I was like, yeah, she said, this is your very last, my last day. She said, I wish you luck. If you need anything, here's my number. Even if we didn't text, we all had the same thing. I was praying for her. The whole thing, I was telling you guys the word caution. I forgive the people there, but also I will remind myself not to get too comfortable. But the Lord said to me, prepare yourself. Um, but also prepare yourself with supplies. Prepare yourself mentally and spiritually. And I told you guys in the beginning how um, they ripped my stuff off the wall. They tried to cover me. But then God told me to go to Lakeshore. Um, to buy a weather chart where they tried it. So it's something bigger and, and better. And also he told me to design my wall. So I guess because I was out for a month, they hired somebody. I'm going to have a conversation with my boss to update her about 
the surgery, what went down and what did not go down, they were not comfortable. But also the Lord told me, I said, Lord, I said this very same thing I'm about to say. I said, God, I do not know what I need to say and speak, but he's been telling me to call. So I called her, I told her I need a couple days off, but today, because um, the employee called me and I need to know, that, that was like a go until so God did to let me know. I asked her some couple questions about who's who, no one's telling me I hired her, blah, blah, blah. You know, the Lord told me to pray for them, told me to pray for a quiet atmosphere, get to English, um, pray for all the classrooms and low numbers. Pray for my assistant, Miss A. And I pray for strength, pray for her to hold down and that she will help me, continue to help me. And I, we work so well together. And also, I, the, what the Lord told me is just said, in my classroom. So I'm going to call her and tell her about what was going on. I have my doctor's note. I'm clear to come back. I'm ready to come back. But also, I would like to be in my classroom when I come back. And for the transition for whoever that new lady is, says, Oh, since another teacher name is A left, that other teacher, Miss M, um, she don't know me, I don't know her, but I'm gonna thank her. But she needs to, they should I don't want her to think that. Because sometimes people get too comfortable in the position when it does not belong to them temporarily. And I'm praying for her. I wanna pray for her, I wanna thank her, I don't want it to be where here I am, haven't been in the school for a month, and she has been very helpful. Her position was here to be temporary, but rightfully what's mine, it's my classroom. The Lord said to me when I first started this job, they cannot, they cannot, cannot afford to fire you, and this is my classroom. Don't allow them to race you. Take a deep breath, stay out of business, be quiet, pray, believe, and go to work. And now the new words he's saying to me, it'll be easier. You're not alone, be patient. Take a deep breath and freedom and don't get too comfortable. I know for you guys to see from start to finish about a new development of me from start to finish. I'm so excited that God Almighty is going to allow me to walk in there and I'm going to go in my classroom on Monday. Um, I'm going to pray for myself to get this thing out of my arm and I'm not going to allow um, no one to push me aside, not to erase me, but you know, just to have fun and be easier, be myself. He said, also he thanked me like, not to yell at the children, you come to stress. I feel like I'm well rested. I feel like I believe in God and trust in him. And you too, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Cause I'm my dream, still holding on to my dreams, do my observations and all that good stuff. God will have my lesson plans, make copies and all these things. I'm gonna bring you guys along because any new subscribers, my dream is to have a home daycare. And I'm so excited. On the on, on the screen, while I'm listening to the greatest times hymns of all time, this is Ephesians five nineteen, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. So we gotta give God praise in every situation. So don't be afraid to yell. Don't be scared to to say, Lord, I'm scared. Don't be afraid to say, Lord, hold my hand, lead me. It doesn't matter you're the most strongest person. God will hold your, hold your hand and he will have your back. And my friend, my beautiful friend, Dejanet, she said, the Lord will never give you something that's too hard. My mother said that too. The Lord will never give you something that you cannot handle. You know, I have the strength to do this. I'm strong and beautiful. But even the strongest person, people's mindset will just tear you down, but I'm not going to allow them to. They're not going to erase me. They're not gonna cover my work because God allowed the stories and God showed me the dream when I first didn't even know about this like three to four years ago, how he showed me that my cello was crumbling. I was a celloist for the duration of my time for like nine years and he showed me how I was in my lesson room and I was holding my cello and it just crumbled. And then on my classroom, my cello classroom, my beautiful teacher Ravenna, she was sipping her tea like she normally does the bed that concrete wall that he had, but he just allowed it to open up and crumble, 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 the peak of the world and the sunshine, but he allowed the children to be in the playground, the wedding playground, which is me outside. It was diversity, black children, Spanish children, Chinese, Japanese children, all around outside, but then I was, I was their teacher. I was their teacher. And then there was a wedding class, wedding playground, and then when I got 
got this job, I knew I touched that playground and was wooden, and I knew in my heart I was high, and the enemy is going to try his best to destroy you. Do not give up, you guys. Be cautious. God's telling you, be cautious, you pray. You go to work. You have to be, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You have to read your daily bread. And also just take a deep breath because, you guys, I am excited. Regardless of my arm, God has me, and I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I gotta get this other um, physical for my job done. Um, getting the physical done, I gotta get a shot, TV test to see. You know, I, of course I don't have it, but that's a state regulation. You have to get every two years, and so it's expired. So I have to get that done before I enter that job. Get all my doctor's note, you know, time off. <sighs> just gotta take a deep breath. It's God's done telling me to do. Just have fun. And I'm so sorry to leave Miss M. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you guys, you guys cannot be so nice all the time. You can't be handing your blessings over to people. Yes, it may look nice. Oh, she can have it. No, she can't. Because God's gonna look at me like, what's up? All the times I heard you, all the times that I helped you, and then you gonna back down. God said to finish. And he's going to make it easier. He's not going to make you look like a fool. Don't be afraid. Who cares if the person's laughing at you? Who cares if you look out of place? But you have to stand your ground. Do not allow people to move you aside. You may be the most timid person, but you have to speak up. in not a way for to be boastful. To be, but this lady on the bus, I was saying, Lord, I'm running out of people to talk to. People's probably tired of me speaking before I do this. And it just popped up on the screen. It says Psalms 101 through 3. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and so God is with me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, and who forgive all your inquiries, and who heals all your diseases. You know, I was saying, Lord, I'm running out of people to talk to. I have no one else to talk to. I talk to my mom every day. I talk to my my friend Dejanae, we had a nice conversation, it made me feel a lot better. But there was this hole in my heart. I called my friend, Miss Queen Random, because she was at work, you know, easily people call me, I'm always the one busy, and now, you know, the my Lord remind me of my older sister. But we are a team, she's holding my hand. I said, Lord, I'm not going to forget about her. I talked to her, she's going to do this, we're going to be fine because my Lord's leading me to help my two younger, my two sisters, Jamila and Arlene. God, I, you know when it's at the peak of your blessing, I just got to take a deep breath, you guys, because I don't know what tomorrow lies. All I think I know is that I got to survive. I got to go to the next step. I got to pay my mom's debt while I still have this job. I'm almost at my goal. I got to get my car, you guys, because I, I got this lovely boot. Um, the ties of things, God is going to allow everything to work out in Jesus Christ's holy name. God be the glory. God's going to restore everything. I'm not going to give up, you guys. So I'm going to read the prayers of knowledge, submission, and position. Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus Christ's holy name. I acknowledge that your Son, Jesus Christ, is my Lord and Savior, who I acknowledge and above all has all authority and power in heaven and earth over in and through my life, and I'm willing to bow and surrender and submit to all areas of my life and all that I am and all that I have unto you, Heavenly Father. Son and Holy, the one and the true and loving God, creator in heaven and earth under your lordship and my Lord and Savior and Master. Thank you, Lord. He also said to me, you're not here to serve nobody. And also, people want to think that you're weak, thinking that they can run your life. Everybody has a position. I did not sign over my life to be just to be a, a submissive dog in the school. No, I'm here to teach. I'm here to, to run this classroom, to be the head of this classroom. The Lord said to me, they don't have confidence in you, so therefore I have to make sure I'm the head of my classroom. They can talk about me, I don't care. Just stay out of my way. That's how I am and that's how I want to do. I want to set up my classroom. I want. I didn't get a chance to do that last year because people were always hovering over me. Then I didn't get really get the support of people around. They did, but it was just more like, it should have gone with the flow. And so therefore, that temporary niche from the month is over. Whatever they done last week, I caught for them. Thank you. But now I have to take my rightful place in my classroom because we can't be all so submissive. We can't give everything away, and I can't accept everything. And I'm going to have a conversation with my boss tonight. You guys, please pray for me.
and give me the strength. It's now 127. I'm, done. I'm doing all the best I can. And we're going to continue. We bow to Lord that all your power and authority in both in heaven and earth belongs to you. We position heaven to turn our troops onto the real peacekeeper force and the poor and the glory of God through the men and the women in a part of the world. Let them take everything the master has set for them, well-made weapons and from the best material. Ephesians 6.12, use this as an instrument of the righteousness and default in the plans of the devil. Lord, we plead the power of the blood of Jesus and asking you to manifest your power and glory. We in, entreat you on behalf of the citizens of those sin countries with both sides in conflict. They will have ex experienced plan and headaches. They are victims in the devil's strategy to, to steal, kill, and destroy. John 10, 10. We pray that they will come to know Jesus who came to us in life and life more abundantly. We stand in the gap for the people of the war torn and devil overturned land. We expect the overflow of your goodness and glory in the lives of those who we are praying. Ezekiel 2 2 30. May they call upon you in your name and be saved, Heavenly Father. Provide for the people. Protect the family of our armies and forces. Prevent marriages and cause the heart of the parents to turn towards their children, the heart of the children to turn towards the father and mother. Malachi 4 6. We plead the blood of Jesus over our troops and their families. Provide on the support system, undergrip, uplift, and edify those who have been left in the raised children by themselves. Jesus have been made unto those parents wisdom, righteousness, and sanctification through your Holy Spirit, comfort in the holy, lo lo lowly, and strength in the worthy. Your, you, God, made known your salvation, your righteousness, your openly shown in the sight of nations. Psalms 92 2, Luke 2 30 31. Heavenly Father, you are looking forward to the day when the, the earth. The whole earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord, and water covers the sea. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I decree and declare that today is going to be a beautiful day. I take a deep breath, and I say hi to you guys, and thank you for listening to my story. And I hope this is a dream come true, you guys, because without you guys, and I have a big people around me to talk to, it's you. You are special, and you are humble, and um, even though I was feeling low, God supplied me, always told me that he's going to send people to me, and I've always been the last to be picked, and I've always been the one that no one wants to be around, and the whole group, and since kindergarten, I experienced that until now, being 27 years old, and the Lord allowed me to always be around the elders, the older people I always stay close to, because my mom said they come up with them. This, little, this lady said to me, she said, I'm 84 years old, but she said, you are a humble young lady, and I can sense that. She said, no, I said, I, I'm sitting at the bus stop trying to go to my appointment to see the results. And she said to me, you're a very humble young lady. I don't know your story, but you're filled with God, and that made me feel good, and made me feel special. So, you guys, you guys are humble and beautiful and smart and handsome. Just keep your head up, keep your thumbs up. Um, I wish I can give you guys all a hug, and I love you guys very much. If no one said that to you, I love you, and you guys are going to make it too. You know, I come to you because I need to s express my story, and I'm glad to be able to give, to give passion to you guys and give hope when I always wanted to just speak. And people always told me to be quiet, but now God has given me a platform and many people to come and listen to my story. So you guys... Thumbs up, you know, even though I wanted to cry last night about my arm. I just gotta just give it all to God. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I just gotta just take a deep breath and just stay hydrated. Go to the doctor and, and, that, and just tell them what's the next step because sometimes you gotta get a second opinion and I gotta get this thing out. And you guys, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I'll update you when I go back to work and all the things I need to do. So keep praying because this weekend it's a lot of prayer. So we got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I'm going to get through today. You guys, love is on the road. Bye-bye.